So the frequency table gives information about the times it took some office workers to get to the office one day. So some of them were very quick, took between 0 and 10 minutes, but at the other extreme, some are taking 50 to 60 minutes, living a long way away from the office. So we're asked to draw a frequency polygon for this information. So what we need to, to know when we draw a frequency polygon is that we um, take our x coordinate will be related to the time, and the y coordinate will be related to the frequency. You can see that the frequency is on the y axis, and the time is on the x. Now obviously you can't plot an interval, so what you do for the frequency polygon is to plot against the midpoint. So we need to put in the midpoints before we do the plotting. Usually they go up in the same amounts, but keep a careful eye in case an interval length changes. In this particular example it doesn't, so we're going up in tens from 5 up to 55. Now we're now um, ready to plot, but I'll do that um, towards the end of this video as the the graph is very small at the moment. I'll make it bigger and show exactly where to put the points. We'll go on to the second part, write down the modal class interval. Well, the modal class interval will be the interval that has the highest frequency. The highest frequency is 16, so the highest modal interval is th uh, t is greater than 30, less than or equal to 40. So you simply need to write that out exactly as it is written. So 30 is less than t is less than or equal to 40. Now, out of uh, screenshot, we're also asked the question, what's the probability that the time taken to get to work will be more than 40 minutes? So we'll answer that question as well before we do the diagram. You don't need to, to have the diagram to do that. You can simply look at the table of information, and you'll see that there's eight people out of the 50 that took more than 40 minutes. So the answer is eight from 50, or if you like, 4 from 25. Both answers would be acceptable. So we'll now do the diagram. So first of all, we plot 5 against 4. So on the uh, vertical axis, we can see that each square stands for 1, as there are 5 between 0 and 5. On the horizontal axis, there are 5 squares standing for 10, so each uh, square on the horizontal axis stands for 2. So if we're going to plot our midpoints, they're going to be halfway between the second and third square in between each of the um, tens. So I could mark those in at the bottom. And now we plot against the frequencies given. So 5 goes against 4. And 15 goes against 14. So that's up here. 20, 15 rather goes with 8, I'll have to take that one back, so 15 with 8, and I'll do the rest. Uh, so you can see all the uh, marks have been plotted on now, and we now simply join them up with a ruler. I'm doing this freehand, but so you do it with a ruler in the exam, and that is, just try and improve that slightly. And let's try again. That is your frequency polygon. Done.